All right, y'all. Peace and blessings one more time. This is your man, Unplug Him, with the next installment of The Occult Ghetto, uh, where we examine different things that you find in the black community that aren't often spoken of, but have their root in the black craft, witchcraft, uh, the occult. And today we're going to talk about the tattoos. We call this one Tat, Tat, Tat It Up. And I recall when I was a young dude coming up uh, uh, just for uh, disclosure purposes, I don't have any tattoos. Uh, I have a lot of loved ones that do. But when I was a young man coming up, I remember a tattoo was a, a real um, taboo in the black community. You did not find black folks with tattoos unless they were involved in the biker gangs or had come from the military or had done a, a, a bit in the joint. Uh, however, you saw around the time of Jodeci and Pac getting popular. You saw a uh, a copycat thing going on in the black community where we saw uh, Jodeci, which was an R&B group, and R&B was generally thought of as being soft, especially in the gangster rap era. And I believe that it was their, uh, their label. Uh, someone came up with a good idea that uh, tats uh, hardened the image. And so we've seen that happen from uh, Jodeci now to people like Chris Brown. And we see the, the, the tatting of a nation. We see the young brothers now. Uh, when I was in Atlanta, I first saw a lot of uh, tats on the face. Um, this is uh, uh, something that has its roots in demonism. And we can even find it in the Bible. In the King James Bible, Leviticus 19 and 28, we find, You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. And we know that we find uh, some of the most popular tats are tats of uh, people that have died. <clears throat> and uh, this is something that needs to be addressed in the Occult Ghetto series. Uh, so right now we're dealing with, uh, we're dealing with the phenomenon of uh, necromancy uh, by a different name. Uh, there's a uh, flyer that I had that I was really trying to uh, show you guys for this, but I, I don't have it um, with me today. And it's from a place called Skin Sins that does tattoos. And so um, I just wanted to open uh, brothers and sisters' eyes to uh, the fact that sometimes we do things that we see other brothers and sisters do, and especially um, the high-profile brothers and sisters in entertainment, and we don't understand the things that they believe and the things that they are misguided into doing uh, often come from spirit worship. Um, and whether a person intends for this to be or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's a character on a Mortal Kombat video game. I forget his name, but he's gray and he is covered with writing. And he is, his story, you know how they tell a little background story behind each character. Well, this character's story is that he is a high priest uh, of some ancient time and he was raised back from the dead through these writings on his body. Well, it's no coincidence there was also a horror movie that played off of this same um, theory. I forget the name of this movie, but in the movie they found um, that in the basement, the reason that the, that the house was haunted uh, in summary was in the basement there had been a funeral parlor and the men that owned the funeral parlor were into the occult and were using the dead bodies for necromancy, which is magic using the dead, either talking to the spirits or actual dead bodies. Sex with a corpse is necromancy, as is just simply talking to the dead is necromancy. Uh, but we found in this movie that the owners of the funeral parlor were writing on the dead bodies in order to revive them. This is the origin of tattoos, uh, the marks and cutting on, on your flesh that the Lord forbids in Leviticus in which the laws are laid out. Uh, and so again, this is not to judge anyone because we all have things that we're trying to work on and different things that we have to better ourselves upon and we're all works in progress. And so again, it's not to uh, criticize or condemn, but only to inform and to inform by way of the word of God. And so that's what we want to do uh, each and every time we come on the occult ghetto. This one we were able to keep in five minutes. And I'm very thankful for that because I want all of these to be little shooters that you can just go ahead and take a hit of and get what you're supposed to get and we can keep it moving. So uh, on the next uh, installment, we'll continue uh, exposing different things that everybody don't necessarily talk about. <clears throat> uh, and that's my goal in this. So we won't be talking about malt liquors and things that you're already aware of. Everybody knows you shouldn't drink, you shouldn't smoke, 
Uh, these things damage the temple. We all know that. But we're looking at different things that are lesser known and lesser spoken of. So until next time, uh, you be blessed. This is Unplugged. I'm coming live from Detroit City. Shalom. Damn.